We'll begin with opening comments from Maurizio, and then we'll take your questions. Hello, how are you guys? Nice to see you. Pleasure. Now I put the gallery, I can see everyone here. We are busy. Mike, we are busy, a lot, a lot of people. <laughs> We have a lot of friends joining us today, Maurizio. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good, very good. Okay, Mike, I am ready. Okay, then we will go straight to questions and we'll begin with Stephen Gaw from the Washington Post. Maurizio, thank you for, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, um, welcome. I was wondering if you could um, discuss the, the goalkeeping situation, uh, the decision to bring Zach Steffen back into the mix and your concern over the two um, English-based or British-based goalkeepers who have not been playing recently. Thank you. Yes, no, you're welcome. Uh, no, I think it's uh, all the players that will be in the roster is because we were in the last months uh, working a lot with all the staff in the national team. Um, we have an excellent uh, professional working, following and analyzing the uh, the all the player that with the possibility to to join us, and I think um, yes, Stephen Saka, uh, we know uh, him, and I think he deserved the opportunity to be with us. Uh, of course, we always put um, all the circumstances uh, uh, when we made the decision. But I think he deserved the opportunity to be with us. That is our first uh, roster. Um, um, I explained a little bit that we were working uh, from the distance uh, with all with all the analysis uh, guy there. Uh, yes, trying to find you know um, and to and to see who is the best you know squad, the best balance. And I think it's a good opportunity to see him and and analyze. And but not only with him, if not with all the players that uh, is, they are involved in the in the roster. Next will be Paul maybe, Tenorio. Maybe, sorry, 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 Mike. Maybe I explain a little bit for you know what we were doing in the last months because I think can help you. Um, from the moment that we were uh, in, in New York and the announcement of uh, that we joined the. Um, the national team, uh, USA soccer uh, men team, and I think uh, we start to work in in many many things. Uh, of course, uh, by Zoom, by you know contact by phone, and and of course watching games. Uh, we didn't have the opportunity to join all the players. That was the decision not to join uh, or not to go to see any player because we didn't want to make um, uh, or to create. Uh, nothing running between them. I think now the opportunity to is going to be to meet them and talking in an individual way and then in a collective way uh, because all was rushed because we were also um, I need to tell you that yesterday we received the visa and we we can fly Saturday because that was also a nightmare um, but and then we we got the visa. And, and now we can go, and also the, we were busy in all the paperwork, um, but now it's done. Um, but uh, yes, in in the way that to create this good relationship, I think uh, we were working in because it's so important is uh, you know to with all the stuff that is in in USA to put all in uh, settle all the principles and to be ready when the player arrive uh, this week and for us also. And yes, we were working in in many, many, many things, and of course preparing the the roster. And I think we really trust in all the also the the uh, the opinion and all the information that we receive from the national team. That is why you are going to see uh, a very similar, you know, roster from last uh, camp um, for different reason. But uh, also for reason that uh, some players that are insured, reinsured, circumstance that maybe we cannot, you know, uh, call uh, another player. But I think uh, this one, uh, every single player that is going to be on the squad deserves the opportunity to to be with us. 
Thank you, Maurizio. And so now we'll continue with Paul Tenorio. Uh, thank you, Mauricio. Um, I, was, I was going to ask about your first month, but I, I wonder because you didn't go meet with anybody um, specifically, and I'm sure there were players that you were familiar with from the past, whether it's Zach Steffen or Christian Pulisic, Wes McKinney, guys who maybe are a bit more prominent. Were there any players that you were not as familiar with that when you watched games really surprised you that that you're excited to to get to work with this month thank you yes i think i am excited to to see all you know in place and face all uh, because i think all have different characteristics and for sure, for sure it's really important to know their personality of course you uh, if you ask me about uh, Pulisic or uh, Anthony Robinson or Stefan, I think player uh, that or, or Tim Green that we already know or we met in the pitch sometime when we were, uh, you know, player again. And I think uh, player that or, or, or McKenny that uh, you know. But I think it's it's really exciting moment for me. It's really exciting. I cannot wait to to meet them and on the. Um, on the camp in Austin and I think it's going to be fantastic uh, because what we want to feel from them is the, the commitment uh, uh, the personality, the character uh, the capacity to adapt to a new era, a new way to approach uh, the games and I think that is going to be the key, the capacity for them to think in, in the collective to think in to give everything to try to be better uh, like a national team, like a team. And of course, uh, respecting that they are individual person, individual player, but I think is to try to create a very good atmosphere that all the players that will show in us, they feel that the collective is the most important thing. Next will be Doug McIntyre from Fox. Thanks, Michael. And hi, Mauricio. Thanks for doing this today. Really appreciate it. Um, you Good mentioned day. you made some phone calls. I'm curious who you spoke to, how many players, and what did you say to them when you spoke to them? Do you say that I was talking with the player by phone? You asked I, thought, me. I thought you said that. Uh, no, no, so no, you no, have... no, no. Okay. I didn't. I didn't talk. I'm going to be honest. I met only one player, Anthony Robinson, because... Uh, by coincidence, they were in a dinner uh, with his team in London uh, with Fulham, and I met uh, I, I met I met him, and I say hello, and we were talking, and then because um, some player in Fulham that were my player in in Tottenham and in Southampton like Harry Reid and and uh, Cesenyon, and they introduced me Anthony, yes, and it was very good chat that, that we shared. This was the only player. Uh, that I saw, uh, and I, I am told by coincidence. I said, "Look, I'm not going to be. You are going to be an exception because I, I didn't spoke with no one. I didn't call, but uh, you were. You are going to be the first. I think you have the privilege to to be the first to talk with me, you know. No, uh, and no, I, I, I didn't want to um, because we didn't have time. Being, being honest, I didn't have time. I, I don't want to some." Uh, call only for the the reason to say, oh, I call some guy or another. I think all deserve uh, the same uh, way for us to operate. Of course, from now, after the Austin camp, we are going to be more in contact, in contact and we plan to receive them, not only the player uh, that are going to be in the roster uh, for this camp, if not for the, for the player that we want to see on place and maybe uh, we are thinking in the possibility for the future, uh, not only the players that uh, are in Europe, also players that are playing in different countries, and like in the MLS, of course. Player with potential, we are going to try to create these uh, links and, and and relationship for them to you know to feel that we we are going to to care you know and to look after them and and going to follow them and to try to push. Um, and to you know to motivate that there is the possibility is going to be the opportunity if they perform well. Next would be Henry Bushnell from Yahoo. Thanks, Michael. And hi, Mauricio. I appreciate your time. Um, you mentioned that this roster is 
of course, very similar to, to previous rosters. Um, in the future, do you plan to bring in a, maybe a wider selection of players who have not received many opportunities with the national team in the past? Yes, I, I, we were thinking a little bit in some player. Uh, I'm not going to give the names because if not, it's not going to be fair. But I think is yes, we are uh, we start to follow some very good players that I think have the potential and maybe are not now in the in the roster, but for sure they are going to be in the roster in the future. Next will be Jeff Carlisle from ESPN FC. Thank you, Michael. Hello, Mauricio. Um, just wondering what, what your thoughts are on the on the center backs at the moment. Just uh, what what their level of form is. Um, you know what's impressed you, um, and what kinds of things are you looking for over the course of these two games? Uh, look, for me, it's, it's about the collective. Uh, I think, uh, of course, um, now we have some players like Richard or, or Cameron that uh, ensure um, different players that we need to evaluate. Um, we were watching in live, not me, my, one of my staff uh, in Toulouse, Lyon, the game uh, that was uh, uh, there, Mackenzie playing. I think uh, we have good potential players that can perform very well. Of course, uh, we need to improve like a team. We need to see the, you know, in the way that we we need to settle the principle to try to help to everyone to perform well. I think when you ask me about the central back, it's because maybe uh, the last maybe games or like this, maybe, okay, uh, was um, a situation that some mistake happened. But I think in football, you know, mistake uh, happen but the most important is how we can reduce this mistake and we try to avoid you know um settle principles and concepts during the game that can help you know in the quality of our player to perform better and sometimes take risks in in different areas or take risks when the game um put you in a situation to take risks not to take risks with no sense I think it's too many things that I think is not to blame player. I think it's in between together we need to find the best way, you know, to 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 work, uh, to give all the the tools to the player, you know, to to know exactly what they need to do and and try to avoid a mistake because it's true that when you analyze the the last few games, maybe it's not because they don't have quality. Sometimes taking risks in, in necessary in some situation on the pitch when they don't have the support, when they don't have the possibility, you know, to to find the, 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 the man free and, you know, with the situation that sometimes you create the, um, the problem when you need to play more simple, create better angles, you know, that that is all about to work and to settle the principle. That is what we want to start from, from the first day, you know, working uh to helping them to perform and to feel confidence because i think the talent is there we'll continue with ryan talmich from goal.com thank you michael and hey Maurizio. um obviously when you're an international coach you just want your attackers scoring goals you know you want your guys going out there and and scoring and when you look at everything that's happened since you were introduced like that's what's happening you know christian scoring Goal after goal, uh, you know, Josh Sargent, Ricardo Pepe, Flo Balg, and all these guys are, are scoring every week. How much easier does that make your job just having those guys in form? And, and how much harder does it make it having to pick between them when everyone's kind of in form at the same time? Yes, the most important is to find the right balance. Of course, that we have players that can score, like you say, I agree with you. Um, I am excited to try to see them in action and how we can find the best balance and the best way to play. We are going to, from the beginning, I think, is not to create uh, too much, you know, chaos. I think we are going to try to plan to play uh, using two systems, one, one, four, two, uh, one, four, uh, two, three, one, and one, four, three, three. And from there to develop, you know, our way to play um, and see if, how we can adapt and how we can create the, the partnership in between them, you know, to find the best way to create a very good way to play, very exciting going forward, being protagonists. That is in the way that we want to perform, is in the way that we want to play. 
I think soccer uh, need to be uh, an exciting game for for the <laughs> USA citizen. I think they need to enjoy every time that they go to the to the stadium. Um, I think we have amazing players, but the most important, they need to believe because, of course, we can have too many offensive players that they can perform. But and then it's two phases on the on the game that you need to control with the ball. That for me is the principal objective because I am a coach and we are coaching staff that we love uh, to dominate the games and, of course. Uh, to have the possession and to have the ball because I think it's the best way, first of all, to defend and 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 second because if we want to win in the way that we want to win is to play closer to the to the opposite goal. Uh, but and then it's, it's the phase when you lose the ball that we are going to be very 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 demanding. In when we lose the ball, we need to be desperate to recover as soon as possible. But we need to work like a team. In this moment, we need to show that we are a real team. All the team that. Uh, wins and won uh, titles or you can see Argentina w winning the the Copa America or the or the World Cup uh, of course when they have the ball play really well but when they don't have the ball they work like a team they are really 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 rough and in, in, in the principles and I think we need to enjoy when we don't have the ball and try to recover and be really strong and very um um Strong defensively, we need to be very competitive. It's not only to play football, nice football. It's to be very competitive. That for me is the the objective. Um, and some pundits they were talking because I follow, of course, the media now more in USA, more than you believe. And uh, many of the professional pundits that they were they were talking, and I am agree that we we need okay, we need to to create a very good way to way exciting play to way, but when we don't have the ball, we need to defend and we need to be strong and we need to enjoy defending because uh, we need to be a team that not concede too many goals if we want to, you know, uh, to achieve the objective that on the end is 2026, is to prepare in the, the team for the World Cup. We, we can translate later. Uh, so next will be Ron Blum from the Associated Press. Hi, Mauricio. From your past club jobs what have you learned about what you want to say to the players on the first day to set the tone and the mindset that you want i think the most important is to be simple player need uh, not to create too many complications the, the player cannot believe that they're going to arrive to the first day in, in austin and <laughs> we are going to be in the in the room um and to start, uh, you know, to spend two, three hours talking about tactics, about different things. I think the most important uh, that we need to to settle few principal, few, few concepts that I think uh, principal that after I start to develop with the time. I think general, you know, way to to behave uh, in the way that we see the uh, football and in the way that we want. Uh, uh, to compete, I think we from the beginning we are going to be very simple and to settle the principles that from there to you know to to build the relationship first and then in the way that we are going to create a relationship inside on the pitch that is important. But I think both uh, on and off the pitch are really important in the way that we are going to create. But from the beginning we are going to be very simple, very clear in our ideas and our concept. Also with the staff, because I think the staff is waiting for us to arrive because uh, we are going to to meet them in Austin for first time. Um, and it is really important also to, to provide or to dictate in the way that we are going to act and the way that we are going to expect uh, things from, from them. Um, like uh, the player after, they need to, you know, to know very well what we are going to, to ask and expect from them also. Next will be Jonathan Tannewald from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Mauricio, thanks for the time. When you watch Brendan Aronson play with Leeds United and as you've watched him over the last few years in Europe, 
What do you think his best position is for a guy who obviously can play multiple positions? And what do you see in his talents? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't hear the, the first part of the, the question. Sorry. He was asking about Brendan Aronson. Yes. And what, what do you think his best position is and what have you seen from him? Yes, I, I saw him. I know when he arrived to Leeds and of course, uh, was a, a very, the impact was amazing. Um, and I think uh, he's a player that can play in a different position. We see in the way that he's going to evolve with us. Um, always player, you always, when you watch and uh, you feel something, but and then when you create a relationship and you start to, um, to, to start to work with them, you start to to feel, you know, is it exactly what you think before, or is a complete different when when you met, you know, the the player. I seen can play on the right, on the left, like number eight, ten. You know, uh, he is a very good. Uh, I think um, looks very professional. Uh, his standards are very high. He's a, a player that uh, work. Always provide, give the best to their team. The um, work ethic, excellent, and the quality also to score and be running in behind to the to the line defensive. Also to play in, in half space in between the lines. I think he can provide different alternatives to the to the game. But I think it's true what you say, and I agree with you that uh, of course that he's young. And it's true that he's playing in a different, in too many different uh, positions, and then maybe now it's time for for him, you know, to find his his best position. You no, know? they say that is my best position. I'm going to perform here. I agree that is is this. We need to help him to you know discover where is his real position and is going to perform in his best. You no, know? and go, we are going to be there to try to help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, th <clears throat> thank you very much. Mauricio, um, does preparing for your first national team um, camp as a coach bring back memories of when you were a national team player for Argentina? And does that experience of playing in a World Cup, has that been something that you think um, you'll be thinking of as a coach? And do you remember uh, anything about playing the United States in 1999? Yes, I, yes, we lose. <laughs> we lose. Uh, we, I think, uh, yes, it was in Chicago and was so hot. I remember the temperature was so hot. I remember this game. Uh, really, really tough game. Uh, and yes, uh, yeah, I was very disappointed after this, this the performance for us. But I think, yes, uh, my experience like a player, uh, for sure, uh, I have... Very good memories, and it's going to be good uh, next week uh, to be in Austin. Um, yes, I exactly remember every single uh, single thing to the thing that I like, things that didn't like. I think that uh, it's not easy uh, to be a, a coach, but more difficult is to be a coach in a national team because uh, player arrive from the day clubs uh, tired traveling you know with all the pressure that they suffer um, you know in the in day clubs and then it's it's important to find a good balance in between for them uh, to have the possibility to they need to be happy they they need to enjoy in the way that they um uh will be in the camp. Um, being responsible, being professional also, uh, that is the most important thing, but uh, it's our responsibility to create a very nice environment. They need to feel that, oh, arrive uh, the camp, we are going to be all together in the national team, we are going to enjoy playing football, I need to play freedom, I need to enjoy playing, I need to, uh, you know, to help the national team to to earn, you know, all that we want, um, is 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 completely different. You know, the the management in, in between a club and in the national team because we our shop is to analyze, you know, to try to provide in an individual way the 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 best tool for them. If players need to rest a little bit more, play need to work in a physical condition because they didn't play in the last months. Play that play maybe too many games, maybe to reduce. 
you know, to the uh, the physical, you know, approach and to work more in a um, in the emotional way or psychology way or, or more about the tactical uh, way. And I think it's going to be um, a real challenge, very exciting challenge for us. We we are thinking, you know, this. Um, we need to create the necessity, and we need to for the player need to need to feel that uh, they need to be exciting when it's going to be the next camp, because we want to make the national team and enjoy and be all together and enjoy playing football. Next will be Kyle Bond from the Sporting News. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mauricio, for your time. Really appreciate it. Um, how much will you lean on leaders in the squad, like, you know, a Christian Pulisic as you start your first camp? And, and do you have an idea how you'll build your leadership structure within the squad? Will you have one captain that will usually wear the armband if they're in the lineup? Or maybe will you have more of a group like they've had in the past where the armband will bounce around? Yes, but I think we have too many players that are leaders. And, and then it's about what I like is to discover because I don't want to, you know, uh, that people will tell me, OK, this one is the leader. That is not the leader. That is good guy. That is no good guy. That is have character. That have no I want to discover. I am a coach and we are a coaching staff that we love to give the possibility to everyone because you know very well that uh, someone you like me, another you don't like me uh, before to meet. Uh, after you met, you maybe still not like me or, or maybe you become in love or I become in love with you or after you met. And I think the circumstances are, are really important and the relationship always is about to, you know, how people is going to behave. And we need to see the potential leaders also because they are very young squad, some experienced player, you know, different, but I think it's not uh, a thing that is, is, is uh, the priority. For me, the priority is that they need to uh, feel free, act in a natural way. They need to they need to feel and to behave in the way that they are and to see how they are. And after, you know, to decide and to help if we see, you know, uh, the potential leaders and the pot potential captain, to decide, you know, and and to after to to give the arm one. But I think is we are a coaching staff that we love to to see to analyze in uh, on place and see the player how they behave because that is uh, under our experience. You know, uh, different coaching staff have different experience with the player, and for me, the most important thing is to leave the experience with them. You know, uh, seeing them and. And see how they 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 behave and how they are. Our last question comes from Andrew Jones. Thanks, Michael and Ola de Nuevo again, Mauricio. Uh, wanted to ask you now that you are an international manager, when you were a club manager dealing with the international managers with players, what is it like? Has it, has it, how's it been like so far for you as an international manager? dealing now with talking to club managers? I am being not good <laughs> because I need to, but I think because we are, um, we had no uh, uh, time, but I promise, you know, uh, for all them to visit and to create a good, a good, a very good relation because I know that too many players have sometimes problems and sometimes for them it's difficult to call you know, the, the coaching staff or myself and to say, uh, talk in a different, you know, I think we need to create. And from after Austin and Mexico, I think our principal objective, sorry, our principal objective is to try to create with all the uh, staff, all the players, that potential player for the national team that we have in different club is to go and to visit and start from, uh, from after um, uh, Mexico that uh, to build that relationship because I think it's important because um, always there are some problems that is most is, is easy when you have very good contact and very good relationship and you feel free, you know, to call us and say, okay, how we can deal because sometimes player, maybe, I don't know, different example, no, but some player maybe that uh, uh, now the last months play a lot and maybe travel a lot, you know, with the team because they are involved in the, 
uh, Euro European competition and maybe play all the minutes. And maybe, you know, they need some rest because potential risk, you know, to get injured or not to perform. And that is the moment that maybe we need to act in between, you know, the two coaching staff in to talk and to prevent problems and not always to help the player because I think to get the benefit, you know, to the player. Because sometimes if, if some player, because he's playing too much and he's performing well, is not coming in one in one camp, maybe it's not going to be the end of the world, but it's going to help and to prevent and to anticipate problems. And it's going to be better for the next and maybe and the objective that is the World Cup. And I think it's so important to create this relationship and and hope that we can from now to have more time and be focused in to create this relationship and be and be good for them, um, giving always the possibility to 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 talk because relationship and communication and and all the you know the areas are the most important thing.